Hi, today I'm going to show you the Power Suit Modules Mobility Mod. It's part of a set of mods that allows us to expand our equipment options. For this mod to work, it needs the Power Suit Modules Base Mod as well as the MAM Enhancer Mod. But don't worry, they get installed directly with the Mobilities Mod. You can find the videos to those mods in the info card or link below. Be sure to have a look at them before this video starts. Besides, it's important to say that the power suit has no functions without the other module add-on mod. So before you start the game, check fixit.app, link in the video description, for what sub-mods you want. Video to them are again an info card or in the video description. Or you can directly download the mod pack all power suit modules to get all the suggested power suit modules mods in one click. With this you directly install the necessary MAM Enhancer mod, the power suit base mod, as well as all multiplayer compatible modules. But there's another modules mod which isn't in the mod pack. That's because, as you can see here, it isn't multiplayer compatible yet. That, however, is currently in development. So, when you're playing in single player, don't forget to install the power suit logistic modules as well. We can see what modules we have installed in every menu down here. For example, right now I have the power suit base mod as well as the add-on mobility installed. All the other modules are grayed out. But now let's start with the showcase for the mobility add-on. Therefore, there is a new tab in the MAM where we can see 10 new modules to unlock. Let's start right away with the first research, Jump Thruster module. In order to unlock it, we need 1 Blade Runner, 50 Rotors and 4 Position Thrusters. With this research we can unlock the Jump Thruster module, which can only be made in the fabrication station out of one metal base component, one Blade Runner, 50 rotors and 4 precision thrusters. This module is currently still work in progress, which means some things can change in the future. Currently it increases the jump height from 2 to 3 meters, the jump distance from 5 to 7 meters, the slide boost jump height from around 2.5 to 6 meters and the slide boost jump distance from 10 to 16 meters. In addition to that, it allows us to use a boost mid-air. If we equip more of those modules, the numbers of boosts in the air increases. However, every jump uses 75 megawatts of power. Let's move on with yet another work in progress module. The work in progress ladder clamping accelerator module. To unlock it we need 25 stators and 50 steel pipe. The new unlocked ladder clamping accelerator module can only be made in the fabrication station out of one modular base component, 25 stators and 50 steel pipes. The module increased the climbing speed of ladders. However, the game seems to cap the ladder climb speed at 6.6 .6 meters per second, no matter what. The normal climbing speed is 5.1 meter per second. The mod creator, however, is working on a solution for that. Until then, the maximum speed is 6.6 .6 meter per second, even if you add multiple modules. Next, we have our first not work in progress module, which costs 1 Blade Runner, 10 Rotors and 100 Quickwire. The integrated Blade Runner module can only be made in the fabrication station out of one metal base component, one Blade Runner, 10 rotors and 100 quickwire. The integrated Blade Runners are slightly better than the normal Blade Runners from the base game. Sprinting speed gets increased from 9 to 13.5 meter per second, either on the normal Blade Runners and on the module. The jump height gets increased from 2 to around 3.5 with the normal Blade Runners and to 4 meters with the module. The jump distance gets increased from 5 to 11 meters with the Blade Runners and 12 meters with the module. The slide boost jump height gets from around 2.5 to around 5.5 meters with the Blade Runners and 7 meters with the module. The slide boost jump distance gets increased from 10 to 22 meters with the Blade Runners and 25 meters with the module. Next, the walking compensator Mark 1, which costs 1 Blade Runner, 2 strong electromagnetic assembly and 8 modular engine. For that we unlock the walking compensator Mark 1, which can only be made in the fabrication station out of one modular base component, one blade runner, two strong electromagnetic assembly and eight modular engines. This module increases the walking speed from 6 to 8 meters per second, however the sprinting speed stays the same. In addition to that it uses 10 megawatts of power while we're walking. Next research is called Sprinting Compensator Mark 1 and costs one blade runner, two strong electromagnetic assembly and 10 modular engines. 
the new module can also only be made in the fabrication station out of one model base component, one blade runner, two strong electromagnetic assembly and ten model engine. This module increases sprinting speed from 9 to 30.5 meters per second and increases the jump distance from 5 to 8 meters, as well as the slight boost jump distance from 10 to 16 meters. In addition to that we lose 10 megawatts of our power production. Let's move on with the next research, Exoskeleton Mark 1, which costs 1 Sprinting Compensator Mark 1, 1 Walking Compensator Mark 1, 4 Strong Electromagnet Assembly and 25 Modular Engine. The Exoskeleton Mark 1 module can only be made in the fabrication station out of 1 Sprinting Compensator Mark 1 and 1 Walking Compensator Mark 1, as well as 4 Strong Electromagnet Assembly and 25 Modular Engine. This module combines the abilities from the Walking Compensator and the Sprinting Compensator. However, it uses 20 MW of power while walking and sprinting. Next, the Fuel Runner module, which costs 1 Integrated Blade Runners, 100 Steel Pipe, 4 Precision Thruster and 100 Motors. The newly unlocked fuel runner module can only be made in a fabrication station out of one module base component, one integrated blade runner, 100 steel pipe, 4 precision thruster and 100 motors. This module increases the sprinting speed from 9 to 24 meters per second. Jump distance gets increased from 5 to 13 meters and the slight boost jump distance from 10 to 28 meters. However, it uses 30 megawatts of our power production and 100 megawatts of fuel while we're sprinting. Up next, we can unlock the slide module, which costs 25 motors, 10 packaged heavy oil residue and 2 precision thruster. The new module can again only be made in the fabrication station out of one model base component, 25 motors, 10 packaged heavy oil residue and 2 precision thruster. With this module we can slide as far as we want, with a constant speed of 9.5 meters per second, while it uses 15 megawatts of power. The mod creator however has still some plans for this module, which are still work in progress. Let's move on with the Zepline accelerator coils, which costs 500 quick wire, 25 rotors and 20 IL limiters. The new module can as always only be made in a fabrication station out of one model base component, 500 quick wire, 25 rotors and 20 AI limiter. With this module we can now use the zip line with 18.5 instead of 13.5 meters per second. And also the boost gets significantly faster. In addition to that it produces 10 megawatts of fuel and with the boost even 20 megawatts. However, it uses 5 megawatts of power without the boost and 15 with the boost. Now last but not least, the Hypertube Acceleration Coils, which cost 4 strong electromagnet assembly, 10 computer and 20 AI limiter. The Hypertube Acceleration Coils can as always only be made in the fabrication station out of one modular base component, 4 strong electromagnet assembly, 10 computers and 20 AI limiters. With this module we can use a boost inside the Hypertubes. By pressing shift we can get a speed up to 50.2 meters per second. However it needs 5 to 26.1 megawatts of fuel, depending on how fast we're going. If you would like to learn even more about this suit and its features, be sure to check out the mod page on fixit.app for additional detailed information. Thanks for sticking with me. Here you can see a playlist with all the videos I made for the Power Suit mod and underneath is a playlist with all mod showcases I made so far. I hope I can help you a little with this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I wish you a nice rest of your day.